Hey, what it is, YouTube, man. It's Boogie Ground, the owner of Real Designer Brand. And today I will be giving y'all a game and teaching y'all on how to start your own clothing line. Ain't gonna lie, girl, it's like I want you in my life. But I know you're so used to that good life. Though you probably could get used to this hood life. I'm from you got a love left and love right. I'm from and it's the trenches, it's this hood fights. When you start your clothing line, the first thing first, which is the obvious, is your name. I like to tell people all the time, the idea when you coming up with your name is to be different. You want to be as different as possible. Well, I came up with Real Designer Brand. It's different. And like, you might not know how to pronounce it. You might not know what it is, but you know, it's going to catch your attention. Like, I get people all the time like stopping me like, oh, what is that? Or how to pronounce it? You know what I'm saying? Like, People are just interested in things that they don't know about. Like that's just that's just in human nature. So you know, you knowing that that should just put you in a mindset. Like when I come up with my clothing brand, like I want it to be different, something that's never seen before. You saying you're gonna win. Like that's the key, especially when you you know you're a new brand. You want to be able, you want people to be able to stop. You saying you want people to be able to remember it. Like one thing for sure. Like you might not know what this is, but you see it again, you gonna be like, damn, I seen that before. And once everybody you know start jumping on it and wearing it and it start catching people's attention. Now your brand, you know, is is doing good. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. I like to tell people all the time. Also, you gotta have a goal. Like if you don't have a goal, then you really like you just lost. You just really moving in the blind, and you don't want to be like that. You want to be able to see your growth, and if you can't see your growth if you if you've never had an initial plan or initial goal from the start. So you just want to make sure you have a goal, and you want to also make sure you have a budget. Like in any form of business, you gotta have a budget. Like you gotta have something that you are willing to invest in yourself. Don't feel like you gotta have a lot of money like to start your brand. Like Everybody always feel like that. I was even one of those people, but you got to think about it like this. If you got $100 and that's enough for you to make 10 shirts and you charging $30 a shirt, after you sell them 10 shirts, now you got $300. You can put that same $300 back into your, your business. So now you got $300 to invest in yourself. So you want to just have that type of mindset. Like, don't let your current situation stop you from moving forward. Like, you don't want to do that. I'd have been there before. I'd say, like, next thing you want to just have in your mind, like, how do you plan on producing your product like how do you plan on getting your product out and me personally i encourage anybody to invest in getting your own equipment to make your own pieces you know for several reasons yes it can be expensive but you can also find some affordable you know equipment you know to make your clothing line for instance if, you, if your brand and your clothing line and your logo requires you to do vinyl you know what i'm saying which is like this this would be considered a vinyl logo like Machines like Cricut and uh, Silhouette, which is not really that expensive, especially, and it will be worth it because you will save a lot more money, you know, taking that route and investing and getting your own equipment than you will every time you got to pay somebody to make it. Then you'll be, you'll be set back when you can just go ahead and just buy the equipment, go ahead and just invest that money. Now, you don't have to worry about paying nobody else. And I say, you know, invest in your own equipment for inventory reasons. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have... A whole bunch of inventory just stocked up because you don't know right off the bat how successful your business will be. So you don't want to have all this inventory sitting there because that's just money sitting there. And I know certain people like they have bills and you know responsibilities they can't afford for their money to just be sitting there. By you having your own equipment, you'll be able to make your pieces and make your product on order. So as you're making your product, the money is already made. So you know the orders coming in, your money is just going up. You're going up. You don't have to worry about having all these colors and sizes that people don't want they want this but you can't afford to you know make it because you got all this money sitting here you know from stuff that people don't want so you don't want to be in that predicament at all so you know i say go ahead and you know invest in your own equipment the next thing is like vendors people hit me up all the time like how do you find vendors or can you give me your vendor and stuff like that i ain't gonna lie to you like you're not gonna find nobody that's gonna give you their vendor like ain't nobody finna give you their plug and that's just, you know, what it is. Like, don't feel no type of way about that because you never know what somebody had to go through to get that vendor or what, how much money they had to spend. So don't never take that personal. Like, this, in this game, it's like self. You know what I'm saying? Not like on the selfish end, but it's just like you got to depend on and you got to count on yourself to make your business grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's finna give you their plug. Like, and I don't, it just ain't no way around that. But I will give y'all this game. Look on, you know, sites like Alibaba, AliExpress, any of those, you know, manufacturers that, you know, come from China and stuff like that. Take it from there. Like I'm gonna give you that game. You take it from there. Next thing is LLC. Um, for your for those that don't know what LLC is, is stands for a limited liability company, and that's just basically for you to officially start doing your business legally and making money. You know, with the bank. Like the bank, 
Like, if you're one of those people, like, you have that goal, you have that vision, you want your brand to be big, you need your LLC. No, it's not mandatory right off back, but if you want your business to grow, you need your LLC because your LLC will allow you to be in a position where you can go to the bank and get a loan if need be. You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't have your LLC, know the bank. and You can't just go to the bank and be like, oh, I got a brand and I need this amount of money, da, 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 da. Like, they finna be like... You know, they don't even know if your business is legit or not if you don't have your LLC. Like, they're not finna just give you money. But the bank, they want to give you money. Like, but they want to give you money and they want to know that they're going to make their money back plus interest. So, by you having an LLC, you'll be able to open up a business account. And when you open up your business account, they'll be able to see what you spend on inventory and what you're making back, you know, profits. So, that's how you want to build that relationship with the bank because you might need them. You know what I'm saying? Basically, the bank is your investor. They're willing to invest in you, but they want to make money with you. So if you want to have that type of relationship with the bank and you want your business to grow, you need your LLC. Like, there's, like, no way around it. And, yeah, like, that's really basically all the game, you know, that I can give y'all real quick. You know, if I didn't answer your questions or if you have any more questions for me, you know, just, you know, just tap in. Just write it down in the comments or whatever. And I'll go ahead and, you know, answer that and get back with y'all. But, you know, shit, y'all just make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Gang.